What's up everybody? Fat Tony here with RideBMX.com. We are in Westminster, California at the Epic Ride BMX shop. One of the owners of the shop, Dat Nguyen, is about to teach us how to set up brakes. Right, so here we got the Fly U brakes, the Knight cable hanger, Aussie linear cable, and the tools we're using today is a 5mm for the brakes, 3.30 seconds for the cable hanger, and a 13 to adjust the tension on the brakes. And also we got good clippers. You need good clippers. So the first step, what you want to do is grease the brake post. Just dab a little on each side. You don't want to overdo it. All right, you have to do one side of the brakes before the other because if you don't do that, the brakes won't sit on correctly because one arm sits above the other arm. This is the bottom arm. This is the top arm, see? If you put it opposite, it'll rub. So we start with this arm. Slide it over the brake post, screw on the bolt so it just stays in place. After that's on, you do the same with the other side. Don't want to tighten too much yet because you'll be adjusting it soon. Take out fresh cable. First thing you want to do is remove the inner cable from the housing. Then now you need to measure how long you want your cable to be. So you Put, take this end, stick it into the barrel of the lever. Then you just measure. See how long you want it. If you guys like to do bar spins, you can put it a little bit longer. So you hold it with your finger, mark it or something. Take the shears, clip it. It should come with some cable ends. Stick it in there. Stick the cable through. If you guys have any lube, tri is best. Dab a couple onto the brake cable so it goes inside the housing. And just kind of work it in, let it go through. Then now you want to put the cable onto the lever. Make sure you put the barrel at the minimum. And now take the rest of the cable, slide it through the barrel adjuster. Okay, keep it there. Then now you just take your bridge, slide it through. Probably want about an inch away from the barrel adjuster so you, have, so you have room when it pulls, it won't hit the barrel adjuster. Tighten it a little bit, not super tight yet because you, you might need to adjust it later. Now you take your straddle cable, hook it over your bridge, onto your brake arms. The brake spring back and forth with the spring right here, and this is where you adjust it. Tighten the bolt a little, not too tight yet. Then you want to just put a little bit of tension first on each side. Just a little. If you do too much, it'll be super tight. You can do the same with the other side. The whole purpose of the tension is when you pull it, it'll spring back away from the rim so it won't lock up or rub against the rim. Take your bridge, loosen it a little. You want to pull it up just a little bit. After you pull it up, hold it and tighten it down. Make sure it's really tight because this is a really important part of your brakes. Take your lube and um, put a little in the bushings right here for your lever and just give it a couple pulls. That will make your brake a lot, lot smoother. And after that's done, just clean it up by taking your cutters. Don't cut too much because you might need to adjust your brake cable later on. So give it about like an inch of slack. So later on, if you need to adjust your cable, you don't have to buy a brand new one because it's too short. Cap it, take your pliers, give it a good pinch. Some people like to use uh, zip ties or the Velcro. I like the zip ties a lot. A lot better. It doesn't slide around as much as the Velcro. You want to adjust your brake pads. You do one arm at a time. So you want to pull your brakes until it lines up in the middle of the rim. Then you squeeze your brakes really hard. Just tie them up. Make sure everything's flat against the rim. Give it some squeeze, and you do the same on the other side. Line them up, make sure it's the center of the rim. 
Squeeze your brakes a little, make sure it's, everything's good, and squeeze it really hard. Tighten it up. And if the pull is still too far, you adjust it with your barrel adjuster. So uh, brake maintenance, what you want to do is um, make sure your rim's really clean, first of all. If your brake works really well, but your rim's really dirty, it's not going to work at all. So you want to take Windex or Simple Green, just run it around the rim. Then afterwards, that's done. Your brake pads, you want to take it off probably once a month. Or if you ride a lot, just find a rough surface, rough it up, or sandpaper. Then afterwards, you just want to lube this little bushing right here because this guy gets a lot of abuse from pulling. Yeah, if, if you're not really uh, handy with uh, tools, it's not, why not? Just take it to your local bike shop. They'll help you out there for sure.